I was being trained as a classical singer. Oh, go that. But now I dare to make. When I came here, I was afraid of making loud noises or loud sound or screamy sounds. Uh, but they took away the fear and they replaced it with technique, uh, which is very good because then you trust your own sensation and you trust your own body and they constantly check up on how does it feel, does it feel okay, if it doesn't feel okay then something is wrong and we need to solve it immediately and not like go home and study for half a year and the problem will be solved. No, they need to take you in the lesson where you want to be and then, of course, uh, we need to go home and practice. I think it's the only place, as far as I know, where classical and rhythmic singers meet and there's respect for each other and we learn from each other and we actually meet and greet in the true sense of the word. Whereas in, the, um, in other places when you can uh, learn singing, uh, those two departments are divided really and there's a, there's a border which isn't be crossed and here every border is crossed and in, in a very good way and that's one of the great advantages of this institute. Uh, the advantage of that you meet singers from who sing other genres is because you can learn from each other because we all have the same instrument and as uh, complete vocal technique teaches us the technique is the same but it's the it's the sound color that is different uh, but it's also rhythmic singers they have another stylistic approach of course to what they're singing and being a classical singer myself um, I can learn a lot from that how they deal with music how they treat it how they feel it how they perform it how they sing it and uh, it's very good to know what they're doing and how they are doing it uh, CVT is a complete vocal technique and there are some singers out who doubt the technique but that's because they don't know uh, about how the technique works and when people are afraid of something they are bound to reject it um, and I must say there's some rejection in the classical world because we're uh, a lot of classical teachers or singers we all say they're all on their islands and they all teach their own stuff and uh, when it comes to screaming or making loud noises they will say oh no 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 because it's damaging for the voice whereas here we are being taught that it's not damaging uh, in traditional teaching you are being taught this is your limit and here you're uh, invited to go and explore your limits and then you will find out what your limit is instead of other people saying to you what your limit is that's the big difference after these three years, I can say to myself now that I'm more accomplished as a teacher. I can do more. I'm not afraid of advanced singers. Or if someone once comes to me and says, I want to learn grunt, or I want to sing heavy metal, or I want to sing this opera aria, I will say, come on and I can teach you, I can show you. I can use the techniques in my singing career because I've got much more hold on my technique. As a singer, I think uh, everyone who's doing in a creative job, or we're always nervous when we have to perform. And I'm still nervous when I'm performing, but these, you need these nerves in order to, to come across, to communicate. Uh, but now my technique is more solid. I'm not nervous because of my technique. I always used to be nervous, oh, I hope I can reach this high note, or I, I can hope. I hope I have enough breath or whatever. And these worries, they don't bother me anymore when I perform because I know what to hold on to, what, what technique to use, uh, what my larynx should be like, my support, so I'm much safer. I've got much more tools to hang on to when it comes to technique. And when you're nervous, your body is reacting in a different way as well. But the technique is always there and it's always solid and you can always count on it. And that's very important.